What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and we're back with a little bit different of a video instead of showing off, uh, you know, some crazy creation. Today we're actually going to be looking at a new mod that a bunch of different people have been bugging me to check out and that is, of course, the Ropes mod. It was on the top of the workshop recently and uh, a lot of people were saying, Khan, you gotta check out this Ropes mod. I've been getting a lot of comments about it and a lot of activity in the Discord with people messaging me about it. So I decided I'm going to check out this ropes mod and I just sort of set up a few different tests for us to take a look at. I originally wanted to make a few different creations but every time I tried to make a creation it failed in some spectacular way so I figured I would just show you guys what I was experiencing and then you know you guys can of course let me know in the comments what types of things you would like to see us try and do with the ropes mod or you know other ideas that you guys might have but anyways I figured we'll just take a look at it so it's really simple the mod adds this one block here which has a really weird sort of direction. I don't really know. I think that's supposed to represent like the rope direction, but I don't know why it comes out at some weird angle. But anyways, you put the block there, you connect it into four buttons that have to be these colors. So the white color is connect the rope. The gray color is break the rope. The light yellow is reel the rope in, I believe. And the dark yellow is reel the rope out. So it's actually just these four colors in the corner right here and uh, everything is good to go. So really simply, we can connect the rope. We press the white button, you can see we've got a rope connected. Uh, we press the gray button, we break it, but we'll connect it, and then we can reel it in, and you can see it, it lifts the block off the ground. Pretty simply, and um, yeah, this is, uh, it's, um, I, I don't think, I don't know if it ever stops moving, to be perfectly honest. So this is the rope spot, pretty simple stuff, and uh, you can see the rope's kind of janky. And uh, if we hit it, they're more like rubber bands almost. Like it's sort of, you know, obviously it's using a script to try and keep the block in the connection. But you can see, um, you know, it doesn't really, it doesn't really sort of stay in one spot. But you can basically connect the rope to any object that it's aiming at and it doesn't really have an issue. So we can just keep hitting this. And uh, I don't think, you know, we'll just leave that and I don't, I don't think it'll ever settle. But we'll just let it sit there and see if it does. So then of course... We can take that same idea, we can attach it to a vehicle of some kind, and let's see if we can actually hit this here. No, no. There we go, perfect. It fires out like a ray cast, like a straight line. Oh boy. Uh, okay, let's just, we can fight. Hold on, let's just, we can drive into the, oh boy. Oh boy, yeah, no, let's, let's back up. Let's see how much we can stretch the rope. Oh, uh, no, we're flying. Okay, um, hold on, hold on a second here. And then, uh, which buttons, I think... I, Two, two is break, three is reel in, let's reel out, four. So I'm pretty sure there's a maximum distance on the rope because I'm holding the reel out button right now. And as soon as the smoke starts, that basically means we've reached the limit of the rope. I'm not really sure though. But you can see every time, oh, we're still, yeah, see right here, now we can't really reel out anymore. And we can pull it sort of, but uh, it's just kind of fighting us. So of course, I wanted to try and make some sort of like a mountain climbing vehicle. I figured, you know what, let's have the ropes attached to something. Now, unfortunately, you can only attach the ropes to, like, concrete and blocks. You can't attach them to terrain. Like, if we sit here and aim it at the terrain, it, it won't do anything no matter how many times we hit that white button. But you can see we can actually aim it at a distance and uh, just attach to that wall there. And if we press forward and reel out, again, we kind of run into the issue with this maximum distance thing. And that's sort of why the whole... Yeah, see, this is, this is like, the maximum distance we can go away from that. So this is why the whole, like, mountain climbing with a rope thing... I mean, you could, I guess, set up some sort of a course that has different concrete pads or, like, a whole wall of concrete and go up, like, one section at a time. Like, you're only allowed to climb with ropes. But I was really hoping that there would be, like, an infinite range on it. I mean, obviously, I can understand why with script limitations and stuff. But either way, I mean, we can just do this and reel ourselves in. But let me know, of course, what you think in the comments down below. Would that be a cool multiplayer challenge, maybe? Like, a ropes-only challenge and you have a entire floor of concrete and concrete walls and whatever and you have to like shoot ropes to move around after the mountain climbing failed i thought well the only other thing we could do is is try and make some sort of a grappling hook and i thought well what if we attach a rope to a projectile and then launch the projectile is it even though the rope you know is going to have uh, an issue with the fact that it can only go so far maybe the projectile speed is so fast that it'll go past the rope limit and then you know rubber band the whole creation to it so of course we've got the vanilla launcher here pretty standard stuff instead of the explosive barrel we've replaced it with a concrete you know slug i guess we can call it and we've added the rope controls here so uh, i think six there we go you can see six connects that rope up and then we'll hold eight no nine nine is the dark yellow so we'll just hold this for a couple seconds make sure the rope is fully reeled out to give us you know the maximum distance that the rope can do 
Uh, that should be good. And then uh, three, we'll tilt it back. Four, we'll prime it. And when we press, uh, I think, five, it should disconnect that cardboard piece there, shoot the projectile off using the flipper glitch thingy, and, uh, of course, the rope will act like a grappling hook. So here we go. And you can see, I mean, it worked. Kind of. I mean, it was pretty, it was pretty good. We can, let's, you know, let's go out into the open a little bit more. And uh, let's see if we can get some serious distance on this one. Let's press four. And here we go. See, I mean, it, it's, it's not bad. I mean, it shoots a pretty decent distance. We could do uh, something even better if you want to prank your friends with an epic prank turret. So if you hide the fact that you've got the rope connected to the turret, and then you just tell your friend, hey man, you know, just get in that turret. It's uh, no big deal. Fire the explosive. And then, you know, you fire the explosive and it just, it comes right back. It's just absolutely hilarious. So again, the ropes seem more like a bungee cord to me and more like, you know, almost like a rubber band rather than a rope. But I figured, you know, if they have that rubber band effect, then there's got to be one last experiment we can try. And that is, of course, this super awesome experiment right here. So I figured you guys probably know what this is already. We do have to weld this one down. It's a little bit aggressive, but you can see we can just take this. We can weld it down just like that. And uh, we've got a bunch of controls. And you know what? Let's put a projectile in here. So let's just not, you know, let's do explosives. Why not? Let's be risky here. And uh, I, I haven't tested this with explosives, but it should work. We press five and then we uh, grab the ropes. We got four ropes that connect to it. So really, really aggressive there. And then we press five again. And you'll notice right away, the ropes are way more powerful than the piston. So we do have to press uh, four. There we go. Hit that yellow switch, which of course lets the ropes out a little bit more. And we bring them all the way back to here. And then we press, I believe, seven. And that'll lock the whole mechanism in place. Now, you can see we've got that little cardboard piece there as well. And uh, we got to disconnect that in a sec. But first, we're going to press three to retract the ropes in. And you'll see when they start to get there. Yeah, you'll see this. And now we're going to have to rebuild that whole mechanism because I didn't have it saved. All right, so I've rebuilt the whole mechanism, and this time we're going to use a non-explosive projectile. I probably should have saved the old one before we did it, but regardless, I believe this is the same setup and uh, untested, but it should still work. Okay, so really simply, you guys can probably figure out what this is going to do. I guess when you're putting tension on it, the explosives kind of get a little bit of velocity or something, but uh, now we can press, I believe, four, and that should, no, three. Three is the one, light yellow, and we should retract it in. We should see that tension start to build up eventually. There we go. There's that, that tension. So you can see it kind of kind of freaks out. The ropes are pulling against the pistons. Now the ropes would be more powerful than the pistons. So of course, you press 5 now. Disconnects that cardboard and the pistons um, apparently do some weird stuff and go shooting off through everything. Doesn't matter. And now when we press 6, uh, it should completely... Or 7, 7. We, it should move those bars out of the way. And slingshot this to oblivion. So here we go. And it was slightly more than disappointing. The slingshot idea doesn't really work well. Or maybe I'm just not implementing it correctly. I'm not exactly sure. But of course, there was were the two things I really want to do with the ropes. Was one, make a grappling hook. And two, make a slingshot. And I couldn't get either of them to work properly. So of course, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is there maybe a better way to do this with the ropes mod? I'm sure a few of you guys have played around with this already. Seeing as how it was on the top of the workshop. Or uh, if you haven't, you know, check it out. Maybe play around with it and let me know if you've made a better slingshot. Or how we could, you know, do something a little bit cooler. Because I really want to make almost like, you know, a, a rope platform that just bounces particles off of it. Like, you, like a trampoline maybe. But it, it doesn't seem like... That's exactly possible just yet. Now, this is, of course, a very early alpha version of the mod. The last thing we're going to do is test just how many ropes we can actually use. So I figure what we'll do is we'll take this truck here and we'll create a little bit of like a, a simple box that has a rope on it and a switch. And we'll turn the rope on and connect it to this truck and then connect another box to that one. And we'll just drag one rope after the other. And we'll just see how many little sort of cubes we can drag around the map with this. All right, so I think I've got it figured out here. We're, uh, we've got four so far. Connect up a fifth. Uh, no, that's not good. We don't want to. We don't want to connect you to the tire. We're just gonna. We're gonna delete that, and we'll just try it again. So I think we'll try starting off with. Uh, we'll. I think we'll set up ten, and see if we can actually do it. So that's uh, five. This is awesome. It's like you've got a, a train of of stuff. I don't really know what the point of this is, but you know what? That's okay. Six. Okay, and then we'll get four more here, and then we'll try driving them around the map. 
and see what is actually going to happen. If the game's going to explode, I don't even know if we're going to be able to drive. I think what's going to happen is all of these collectively are going to pull back on the truck and the truck's not even going to move. That is my prediction. But of course, if you have a prediction, let me know in the comments right now because we're about to finish this. And, and of course, I guess a lot of people are just going to watch past the video and then say that their prediction was what actually happened. But you know what? Pretend like you aren't going to do that. And let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen with these. I don't think we're going to move. I think the truck's going to move a little bit. And then all these ropes collectively are going to pull back on the truck. And we're not actually going to go anywhere. But here we go. The 10th rope block. Of course, the 10th one doesn't want to line up. Here we go. Can we Can we please? There we go. Perfect. All right. So we've got 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. They're all connected to our truck with ropes. So here we go. In 3, 2, 1, go. Oh boy. Oh boy. The first one hasn't even started moving yet. Oh my goodness. It actually works. I mean, it's really janky and the ropes don't really display correctly, but it's actually, it's actually working. This is the most ridiculous thing. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is terrifying looking. It looks like you're getting chased by some sort of a, oh no, we flipped the truck. That's okay. See, this is the cool part. We can put the truck close enough on the lift and they all should maintain their connections. Perfect. Oh my goodness. What is this? I don't think the game was meant to do this. Now, obviously, you'll see the ropes go through the trees. Like, they don't have any collision or anything. So, it's really just the blocks that have collision. But, I mean, if you had... If these were explosives that didn't, you know, explode on contact, you could actually maybe make some crazy sort of weaponry in this. But they definitely pull the truck back. You can feel them when you go off a jump, especially... Uh, pulling the truck back but of course let me know what you think of the ropes mod in the comments down below i think it's a really cool mod obviously there's some limitations currently uh and it would be really really cool to avoid that whole rubber banding sort of effect and have them more like an actual like gravity type rope i mean they're not very rigid i guess is the word i'm looking for they're more like you know super bouncy and flexible but of course let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and while you're at it hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time